What is up guys and welcome to this week's vlog. Now, before I get into this whole week's footage, I want to know, I want you guys to comment down below. Uh, do you want me to record the Evo build uh, motors? That didn't make sense. Do you want me to record the Evo motor build like as tutorials or should I just throw it in the vlog? I can make tutorials on how to build the Evo motor if you guys want to see it. But if you guys don't really want to see it, I'll just throw it together and run like a time lapse or something and throw it in next week's vlog. Let me know guys. Leave a comment down below. It would be much appreciated. Thank you. The only things on today's agenda is to get everything shipped out that sold throughout the weekend and to finish up this bike I started last week uh, for my business. And also go to the gym like usual in the evening. So I'm just gonna package up some stuff right now uh, and then I will get back to you guys later.
What is up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is now Wednesday. If you enjoyed that little edit of the lake yesterday, give this video a thumbs up. Now this STI is disgusting, so I need to give it a quick bath before the drone comes in. As you guys can see, it sat for way too long with some, some dirt and whatnot on the paint. So I'm really hoping just waxing will take this off, but if not, gonna have to rebuff this car. Unfortunately, these water spots on the STA won't come off with just wax, so I'm gonna have to buff it out, but I don't really wanna buff it out because I got this whole Evo X project going on. So I'm actually gonna drop the car off at a detailer tonight at 6 p.m. and just have him do it. Just pay us to have someone do it. Uh, I don't really wanna mess with it because I just did it on this car anyway. <sighs> oh well, lesson learned. Learn this from me, guys. Do not leave your car out baking in the sun with a bunch of dirt and grime on your car. It'll destroy your paint. Learn from me. What is up guys? Today is Thursday the 27th. Welcome back to the vlog. Now for the STI, I dropped it off yesterday to get detailed to get all his water spots removed and the guy that did it did a very terrible job. There's still water spots on the car, there's swirl marks all over it, there's buffing compound uh, and door jams and on the door handles and whatnot and there's still wax all over the car which you can wipe off. But So I'm going to have to find somebody else to make that thing proper for me. Uh, as I don't really want to do it myself right now. Uh, now for the EVO update, I still have not got the block back from the machine shop. It is Thursday. I was hoping to get it back Tuesday so I could uh, get that get started on that motor build. But I still have not got the block back, so we'll be waiting on that. The main bolts come in today. I ordered the ARP main bolts. They Those come in today, so I have all the parts ready to go. Uh, ready to throw back together as soon as I get that block. So let's hope that thing comes back in soon. The only things on today's agenda is fix the front lip on the STI. Somehow when it was at the detailer's place, uh, the front lip got bent under somehow. Not really sure how that happened. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, kind of silly situation. And hopefully the drone comes in today. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday, Wednesday, but it didn't come in. So I am thinking it'll be here today. Uh, stay tuned for some drone footage if it comes in and obviously I'll be doing some sort of unboxing with that with that drone too The drone is here she's right there boys Damn she's beautiful Guys, this is the coolest toy I've ever bought in my life. Well worth the money. If you're on the fence about buying one of these things, or you like making videos and, and whatnot, buy one. They're so fun to they're so fun to fly. Like I said earlier, guys, this is the funnest toy I've ever bought. It's so addicting to fly. The only thing I noticed that I don't like is the battery only lasts half hour on the drone itself. Uh, so I'm gonna have to buy some spare batteries, which are very expensive. Mm -hmm. 
Time to quit playing around with this drone and I gotta go clean up some motor parts, uh, just like valve cover and timing cover and all that stuff for the Evo X. When I get the motor parts back, I can throw everything together. Everything will be nice and clean. This is what my parts pile looks like now. I will show you guys what all this looks like when it's done. I just got word that all my machine work is done from Castle Engines, uh, the people that are doing everything, my block, my crank, my head, uh, flywheel. So all that's done, I'm gonna run and pick that up and I will see you guys when I get back. So I was going to make a sick edit for the end of this video, but uh, as you guys will be able to see in a minute, I'll put it on the screen. I was taking some footage of my STI driving down the road with the drone on. It wasn't active track because active track wasn't following my car because I didn't know how to use it at the time. So it was some other mode, it was following my car, but apparently that mode does not have obstacle avoidance. So completely my fault. Uh, I ditched the drone into the trees. Now thankfully, all it did, let me grab some propellers here. So all I did was break three propellers. That one's just chipped on the end. Same with that one. But other than that, the drone's fine. I went and used it. I used active track. You have to click the thing and then you have to click it again for it to follow it. If you just click it once, it'll the the camera will follow, but the drone won't follow you around. So I tried it out, I clicked it on myself and clicked it again, went and ran around like an idiot and it was fine. Followed me fine. So the drone's good to go, thankfully. Uh, they're pretty durable because I dished it in the trees pretty damn hard. That's gonna wrap up this week's video, guys. I wanna thank you so much for watching and tuning in for this week's vlog. Also, guys, thank you so much for all of the support you have shown me on the channel already. Uh, I started this at the beginning of the year, expecting to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and we are nearly at 2,200 subscribers already. So, thank you guys for that. I will be heading to the Northwest Streetcar Challenge in Spokane, uh, in Airway Heights at the uh, track out there tomorrow. So as soon as that video is edited and live, I will let you guys know on like my Instagram story like I usually do. If you guys enjoy the content, of course, hit that subscribe button and hit the like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video.